Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Zimba Boy Manuel, known as Mick Merlin on Facebook and Instagram. So, five things you have to know before planning your trip to China. As a student, that is getting a student visa to China. So, watch this video to the end so you don't miss the most important part of this video. Student visa requirement. Five things you have to know before planning your trip to China. Number one, decide where to go. China is so big, so which city? and which university so you can find a trusted friend who can guide you through this process the second thing is decide when to come is it in summer is it a winter is it an autumn or spring so you have to know the weather so to prepare know when to come when to come like i said in the first point decide where to go for those of you who have chosen uh, the north part of china <laughs> be ready for minus 28 degrees celsius too cold So the third thing is you have to learn some English. For those of you that speak French, Spanish, Arabic and some other language, if you, you are coming to China that is to learn a language, Chinese language, um, what you have to bear in mind that they have to use English to teach you Chinese. So you have to learn some English. Some English, you have to know some English. Um, four years ago, uh, when I came to China, I had a friend from Angola. He could always speak Portuguese. So when we had a class, he was always like different. He always felt different. It was so hard for him to to catch up with the lesson to, with, the, with the class because we the first year, every first year of most schools in China, they offer you with a Chinese language class and they use English to teach you that class. And if you've done the Chinese language and you want to move to other school. Okay, that'll be fine. You can take whatever you want to do. You can do whatever you want to do at that point. But the first thing is to learn Chinese. So it was so hard for my friend to learn even the Chinese and even to learn his own course. What he came to Canada to learn, it was so hard for him. So right now, even when I, whenever I call him, whenever I call him right now, we only speak Chinese because he has improved his Chinese. He's learned Chinese better. He can speak to you. I can't speak Portuguese either, so it was so funny. The first point is, the first thing you have to know before planning your trip to China as a student, um, you have to know your age limit, because most universities in China uh, consider a lot of um, age limitation. So these are some of the reasons why you guys get to the embassy. Alright, so for undergraduates, you have to be under 25. For masters, you have to be under 35. And for PhD, you have to be under 40. Before we move to the five, that is the um, document requirement um, to get a student visa at the embassy. So I had this question a lot, a lot out there. I decided to put it live. So um, if you have any question, you can put it in the comments below. So um, I'm gonna answer all your questions in in my other upcoming videos. So main requirement for a student visa at the Chinese embassy one passport and a photograph your passport should be at least six months valid and the photograph should be with white background two application form three um admission letters from the university and four jw201 or jw202 form so these three documents are going to be given to you by the university after you've successfully applied um to any school here in China, they're gonna give you these three documents. Um, application form, uh, admission letter, and JW201 or JW202. Okay, five, proof, proof of payment, that is the bank statement. So you have to prove to the embassy that you're gonna pay your tuition whenever you get to China. And six, the physical um, examination record. That is just for a student that want to stay longer in China. If you want to make five, six years and study for six years in China, you're going to need that. But if you just want to stay in China just for a short term, like six months, to learn just a Chinese visa, uh, to learn just a Chinese course, um, and you want to get a six month visa, you don't need to, to give them the, your physical. All right, guys, um, those are the five things you have to know before planning your trip to China as a student. All right, I'll find more um, details, more important details of um, other universities in in China that accept um, international students, the uh, cities and the application requirements and the cost. But you have to know that the cost of um, applying for um, a university in China will depend on the school, on the university, because most university um, 
uh, the application fee. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, please do me a favor. Look below, you're gonna see the red button that says subscribe. Please click it, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out the other videos, my other upcoming videos about um, living in China as a student. What can you do to have a monthly income? I'm gonna give um, more important details on that in my other upcoming videos. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in my other videos.